The next part of the shapes of molecules topic deals with lone pairs because things change slightly if you have lone pairs present in the valence shell. Okay, so we'll use methane to start off with. So just to recap, the methane molecule CH4 has four pairs of electrons in the valence shell. One, two, three, four. So these get as far apart as possible by repelling each other and they adopt that tetrahedral shape with a bond angle of 109.5 degrees. Now, what we're going to do is change this. We're going to change the molecule and we're going to do ammonia because ammonia um, has some similarities to this but it also has a lone pair present. So I'll just knock up the dot and cross diagram for ammonia. You could be thinking about that if you want and we'll see what the impact is of the lone pairs on the shape. So there's the dot and cross diagram for the ammonia molecule. We have the central nitrogen atom. Remember nitrogen's in group 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And hydrogen only has one electron. So there's the hydrogen electron shown as crosses. And we need to apply the rules but bear in mind that we've got a lone pair present here. So this here is a lone pair of electrons. So it's not bonded. They're a, bonded, they're a pair of electrons, sorry, that aren't bonded to anything. So we'll apply the rules. How many pairs of electrons are in the valence shell? One, two, three, four. Four pairs. but one of them is a lone pair. Okay, so but one is a lone pair. And that changes things slightly, okay? So in the past, when we've had these sort of molecules, all of these pairs of electrons are what we call bonding pairs, okay? Because there's a bond from one atom to another. Okay, so bonding pairs of electrons. Now, because the pairs of electrons are all the same, I didn't say that before, but I'm going to bring that in now because it's important. These are all bonding pairs of electrons. That means the repulsion is equal. Okay? Now, in ammonia, we've got three bonding pairs of electrons, but we've got one lone pair of electrons. So the repulsion is not equal anymore. So four pairs of electrons, but one is a lone pair. So the repulsion is not equal. And that's because lone pairs can repel more than bonding pairs. Hope you can read my writing there. Okay, so that is a very, very important rule. So if I bring this model here, there's a model of a, an ammonia molecule. So you can see there's the three bonding pairs of electrons to the, the hydrogens, the nitrogens, the blue. There's the lone pair. And because that repels more, what it does, just grab hold of there, it actually forces these closer together and it reduces the bond angle between these atoms here. Okay, so the lone pair repels more and it squeezes these atoms a little bit closer together. And as a rule of thumb, one lone pair will reduce this angle by two and a half degrees. Okay? So this is where you've got to be very, very careful. So we've still got four pairs of electrons. So we're going to be, we're going to, the bond angle is based on the 109.5 degrees that we had before. Okay, so four pairs is 109.5 degrees. We've still got four pairs of electrons, but one of them's a lone pair. So we take two and a half degrees off because the lone pair repels a little bit more. So the bond angle 
here will be 109.5 degrees minus 2.5 degrees so we'll actually get a bond angle of 107 degrees okay so we'll draw that on another board and we'll see what the shape is okay so we've got well let's start with this this is our regular tetrahedron okay remember we're not going to get this we're going to get this other shape the, the slightly different shape what I'm going to do I'm basically just going to say right this is my I'm going to say that this is the lone pair sticking straight up okay so the lone pairs in this shape this space here so the lone pair is that now remember on a tetrahedron we also have another bond in the same plane so this bond here is in the same plane as this pair of electrons this lone pair okay we have a bond sticking out this one here so there's a wedge shade that in and we also have this bond here which is going back and we'll show that as a dashed line so there we have our shape the bond angle remember is not 109.5 and we're only interested in the bond angle deals with the angle between bonds so these are bonds aren't they so it's a hundred and seven degree bond angle remember that was from the 109.5 minus 2.5 degrees to get that 107 because lone pairs repel more than bonding pairs what's the name of that shape so we only consider the bonds in the shape and this is called pyramidal so ammonia has a pyramidal shape the next molecule we're looking at is a molecule with two lone pairs in the valence shell so the classic one to look at is the water molecule so I'll quickly draw a dot and cross diagram of a water molecule H2O so we have a central oxygen atom and then there's two hydrogen atoms bonded to that oxygens in group 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 and there's hydrogen's electrons so there's the dot and cross diagram for a water molecule we can see that we have four pairs of electrons in the valence shell so our starting point needs to be the tetrahedral shape but two of those bonds aren't actually there we'll take them out so we've got something like this okay so that would effectively be the water molecule so we've got this model here which shows the lone pairs instead of just the bonds removed and what you need to know is lone pair to lone pair repulsion so this repulsion here is stronger still than lone pair to bond and pair so this is going to reduce the bond angle even more than before okay so if I just push that around and just squeeze them together that that's going to, these lone pairs repellent are going to actually push those bonds even closer so just keep applying that rule of thumb one lone pair will reduce by two and a half degrees so two will reduce the bond angle by five degrees okay remember our starting angle is the angle for four pairs of electrons which is 109.5 so the angle is 109.5 minus the five degrees repulsion extra repulsion from the two lone pairs so we're going to get a bond angle of 104.5 degrees okay how do you draw that well this is really easy to draw you can see if I just hold that like that those OH bonds are in the same plane as each other so the easiest thing to do is make your central oxygen atom there's your hydrogen in that plane hydrogen in that plane and then the lone pairs we don't need to do the, the dot, dotted lines or wedges anymore we just do that and 
we have that angle of 104.5 degrees. And the shape, so if these had all been bonded pairs of electrons, that shape would have been tetrahedral, but we're only considering the bonds, so the easiest shape to call that is nonlinear. So there's a, a straight line, doesn't go out like that, does it? It goes down, it's nonlinear, it's not straight. So this is non linear.